Good afternoon once again. Today is uh, Friday, uh, July the 3rd, 2020. Um, as you can see, every week I have a fresh uh, new mask. Uh, instead of telling you and advising you to wear masks, I'll, I'll perhaps uh, uh, practice what I preach, uh, so to say. So this mask in particular is from Bangkok uh, Airways. A fresh new mask every week uh, keeps, wearing, keeps me wearing masks uh, and enjoying wearing masks, which is also very helpful and very um, keeps me very hygienic uh, and, of course, to prevent any further uh, spread of, of COVID in terms of prevention and uh, any, uh, any, any further infection. Hopefully not. So we start off today, uh, today's press briefing. I'll just provide you just some information first on the news about the national budget uh, debates for the fiscal year 2021, where yesterday His Excellency the Prime Minister uh, delivered a statement at the Parliament at the House of Representatives on the occasion of the national budget debate for next uh, fiscal year. He stated that the budget, totaling around 3.3 trillion baht, will focus on the rehabilitation of the Thai economy and the improvement and recovery of the people's livelihood and well-being. Now, why do I mention this at the beginning of the CCSA briefing? Because, of course, the people's livelihood and well-being has been very much affected by the COVID situation this uh, actually, this entire year, uh, towards the middle of the year already, we're, we're now in the middle, middle of the year already. So since the beginning of the year, we have been affected uh, globally. So this is very important in terms of rehabilitation of the post-COVID economy. Also, with regards to the enforcement of the fifth phase or the phase of normalcy that we are in now, in terms of enforcement of restrictions, the spokesperson also highlighted and uh, showed this uh, short video clip that you see on, on screen now about the authorities uh, and police authorities conducting inspection in various high-risk sites which are allowed to, were allowed to open on the, the 1st of July, last Wednesday, including, including pubs, bars, and other entertainment venues. There were, uh, unfortunately, many, uh, some reports of violations and non-compliance by some patrons patrons, customers of these establishments, uh, ranging from the failure to observe physical distancing. So just to reiterate that these are put in place not only for uh, your safety, but also for the public well-being. It's a responsibility of everyone to follow these regulations and to understand that while you may not be the, uh, fortunately, not a victim of the, a, any second phase, uh, second wave of pandemic, other people might be at risk. Other people might uh, stand to lose if we don't control it well. Uh, the economy will be uh, in very much affected and some will lose their jobs. Of course, risk to health and in, in the worst case, of course, their, their lives. So the spokesperson highlighted this in his briefing just, just now. Along the same line as tomorrow uh, is the beginning of the uh, four-day holiday, uh, including the Asanha Busha Day and the Buddhist Lent Day. The CCSA uh, allows uh, the religious activities in temples. However, they must follow the health guidelines to ensure hygiene and, and avoid uh, congestion, as many people tend to be on the move during the long uh, holidays. Of course, to <clears throat> avoid uh, congested places uh, during the holidays, and don't forget to use the Taishana uh, platform, wherein just to reiterate the importance of the platform uh, and for everyone to continue uh, using it. On, on, on Wednesday, I apologize, I misspoke a bit. I said that the holiday, long holiday next week would be Monday to Wednesday, when in uh, the, the, the fact is it's Monday and Tuesday only, not, not until Wednesday. Perhaps I got uh, carried away with the uh, upcoming long holiday. So only Monday and, and, tu and Tuesday for, for, for that. The spokesperson also mentioned about the future uh, programs uh, in the coming months, as soon as the special arrangements, the, the discussions have been uh, completed uh, in, in the CCSA or with uh, various other countries for special arrangements. Such programs might include the medical and wellness uh, program, uh, which are being considered, uh, taking into account the situation, uh, the global situation, and potential partner countries. So uh, this program um, can, can begin, and if everything uh, goes, goes well, by, by August, uh, we would have 
people uh, coming in for medical and wellness programs, as well as to travel uh, in the country uh, after their uh, medical treatment, for, for example. And possibly when people come in the country for under this scheme, the uh, relatives of up to three relatives will be, would be able to accompany them. And if all goes well, uh, towards uh, September the 1st, uh, perhaps some special arrangements with some countries, spe specific groups of tourists might be, uh, that, that might be implemented and gradually uh, allowed in, because we realize, we realize the importance of the tourism sector uh, to Thailand and that the sector employs uh, many people. So in terms of medical wellness program and future uh, incoming uh, uh, tourists uh, by special arrangement. So moving to the numbers that we have for you, recapping yesterday, uh, Thursday, six new cases reported yesterday, all imported cases, all put into the state quarantine system, um, all Thai nationals repatriated from abroad, six cases, four re repat from Indonesia, one from Sudan, and one from South Africa. Uh, no domestic uh, new local cases were reported yesterday. For today, Friday, we have one reported new case, Thai uh, national from Bahrain, uh, age 24, arriving in Thailand on the 28th of June, and she was quarantined uh, in uh, Chonburi province, started to exhibit uh, symptoms on the 30th of June and tested uh, positive on the 1st of July, last Wednesday. So as you can see on screen, cumulative, we have 3180 now. Recoveries or discharge, 3066. No new fatalities, uh, almost getting there. We're in, almost getting to the point. Uh, maybe in business you call it break even, but probably it's not uh, the right context for, for this. Um, so the numbers of recoveries and discharge is getting closer to the number of cumulative cases. Of course, pending the persons who are still in treatment, still in treatment, uh, 56 to be exact, and of course minus the fatalities uh, to date, which is 50, uh, 58. Just for some observations, in addition, um, other uh, seasonal diseases, tropical diseases, are also causes for concern, and Dr. Thuisin, the spokesperson, mentioned uh, this in the beginning of his presentation with many uh, slides on various other seasonal flus uh, prevalent in, in Thailand as we approach the time of this time of year. These diseases uh, include, usually in this time of year, the hand, foot, and mouth disease, uh, influenza, as well as pneumonia. However, the infection rate for these diseases uh, to date uh, remain low, uh, potentially owing uh, to the public uh, usage of face masks and the heightened health concerns among the public in, in, in general, um, as well as the delay of the opening of the school semester would be one important factor. So you can see that we're getting perhaps three or four birds in one stone with our precautionary measures. When we wear masks, as I highlighted just now, every, month, every week I have a uh, fresh new mask to use and enjoy. It's very both enjoyable and also it's kind of soft and uh, comfortable to, to wear, as well as very, very important. And this has uh, actually been very uh, fundamental in preventing uh, other diseases, as, as I mentioned. So as the more we're, we wear masks, the more we are able to present other seasonal uh, diseases in, in Thailand. It's very good to hear. So um, as usual, some images from the Thai embassy's work. Just a reminder that there remain many Thai nationals abroad, which we are aiming to assist and help. Uh, first is the image from the Royal Thai Embassy uh, in Abu Dhabi, as well as Royal Thai Consulate uh, in Dubai, assisting Thai nationals there at the airport. Uh, yesterday, assisting 173 Thai nationals back home who were affected by the lockdown in, uh, in, in, in Dubai and requested to be repatriated back. Also, uh, some, from time to time, I remind you of our Thailand's role and contribution uh, to the global community, to the international stage. Uh, recently, uh, we've been continuing to be active in assisting partners around the world in coping uh, and joining 
hands in solidarity with other countries uh, because we believe uh, that cooperation and partnership are the key to the keys to global the global mission uh, the resolve to overcome the pandemic and build back together or build back stronger so as a token of this partnership recently the minister of foreign affairs of thailand mr don pramatwinai announced thailand's contribution of uh, 100,000 US dollars to the UN COVID-19 Response and Recovery Multi-Partner Trust Fund, or COVID-19 MPTF for short. Also, as indicated earlier, doing various press uh, briefings, various uh, regulations have been adjusted and announced. Uh, we have to wait for the implementation, the procedure to be announced. Uh, through the various Thai embassies uh, uh, in the context for the foreign, foreign nationals. Arrangements and details discussed on various types of uh, developing the mandatory quarantine, uh, the, type, the groups of persons uh, entering. So that continues to be developed. It's uh, dynamic. We look and monitor at the situation, uh, the real situation on the ground uh, all the time for in developing this. And of course, just to reiterate also that the a quota for foreign nationals as well as Thai uh, nationals repatriating from abroad are different sets of, of quota, so they are, do not affect uh, one another. So no worries regarding the overlap. The spokesperson also mentioned about the quarantine uh, system. And as I mentioned, we're improving and developing different types of quarantines um, for, uh, which, which are all under, under discussion. The spokesperson highlighted uh, organizational quarantine, for example, or alternative state quarantine, which is in existence already. But uh, for the details, I'd uh, rather uh, keep uh, the information uh, until the uh, discussion is, is finalized and the procedure uh, is uh, announced. Uh, at that, in the meanwhile, there is the alternative state quarantine for foreign nationals, as you can see on uh, screen. For those who return from abroad and who would like special services at their own expense, the number of hotels for uh, alternative state quarantine for foreign nationals have been um, expanded already. More information uh, in the uh, fan page, Facebook page of PR Thai uh, government, as well as the numbers you see on screen. One important uh, piece of information also is about uh, visa amnesty. Uh, in the past uh, briefings, we inform you once they are announced by the Immigration Bureau regarding visa amnesty from time to time, from month to month. Uh, these, are, these are for foreign nationals who have been remaining uh, in Thailand since the beginning of the pan pandemic and had no uh, options to uh, leave the country. So the visa amnesty had been uh, extended. The most recent one is until the 31st of July. And just to update that, the Immigration Office is holding, uh, currently holding meetings to discuss this issue and we'll be uh, coming out with that uh, in due course, of course, so people can uh, be prepared to know what will be happening regarding this issue uh, when we come closer to July the 31st, which is the latest uh, visa amnesty uh, extension uh, allowed uh, uh, in, in the last announcement. So please rest assured that our intention is to assist and uh, uh, cater to the uh, needs of uh, everybody. We please be patient as more information will be available soon. And as the CCSA and as government, we are firm, we are strong uh, in our resolve, uh, and we will seek to continue to provide uh, clear communication. But of course, as in every country, any country that you live in, you have to abide by the uh, regulations announced of, of those countries because they are put in place for your own benefit, as well as your own health and safety. So just in conclusion, um, one of the uh, questions that were received at, uh, directly by the uh, spokesperson, I mentioned in, in uh, the presentation uh, some information which were asked uh, to the spokesperson in any case already. Uh, there was one issue about the second wave uh, in, in other countries. The second wave in other countries uh, have been, in fact, affected by um, the opening up of various uh, business establishments uh, or even, even schools. So therefore, in Thailand, we continue, we have to continue to monitor the situation on the ground. 
And sometimes some uh, establishments uh, or like schools, for example, um, would not be able to be open in full capacity as would be in normal times uh, just, just yet. So meaning the various measures still have to be in, in place, as, as you know, the various regulations regarding the schools, uh, the distancing in schools, all the regulations announced for, for the schools. That is because we have to monitor the uh, situation and prevent uh, the uh, second wave from coming as, as was happening in other countries. So that is, that's why we're still taking very much, very close uh, precaution. So just uh, in conclusion, um, we will be having a long holiday, uh, as, as mentioned, Monday and, and Tuesday. So the next time that we will be having the English language um, and the Thai language, actually, um, briefing would be next Thursday. So hoping that uh, you will have a pleasant uh, long holiday, Asana Busha and Buddhist Lent uh, holidays. Please be mindful of your responsibilities, your responsibilities as residents of Thailand, as global citizens. Uh, and it is a responsibility to both uh, yourselves and uh, to others. And finally, just a reminder, don't forget to use the Thai Shana platform. Just in closing, I'll leave you with uh, an image of me putting on a mask and just leaving the podium, just as um, I like to practice what I preach as well. <laughs> so thank you for your attention. Have a very uh, safe uh, weekend. Travel responsib responsibly. And a very happy uh, holidays. Thank you very much. Sorry, Cap. Cap, thank you very much.